hello guys welcome back again so in the previous video we saw how to use OpenCV camera in our app but by default our camera view was in landscape mode and there was no proper scaling of the camera orientation so in this video we are going to learn two methods of setting the camera orientation and get a better camera view so let's get started We are continuing our project from the previous tutorial. This is our OpenCV camera activity where we set the camera controls for our app. But we did not get an expected camera view and the screen size was pretty small. First thing to notice is our camera mode which is displaying objects horizontally so we need to rotate that display by 90 degree today we will learn two methods of scaling the camera let's start with the first method in our project folder we can see there is a directory name as sdk which includes all the imports and classes of opencv Simply click on that directory, then again click on Java, expand Android, now we can see bunch of Java files here, now click on camera bridge view base. All methods we used in our OpenCV activity can be found here. First things first, we need to rotate our camera view by 90 degree. For that, just scroll down the face or just simply search for canvas here the deliver and draw frame method is responsible for our camera frame we need to modify the method to change the display view. This canvas is a class which holds the draw calls. You can read the developer documentations for all the built-in classes and its methods. I will link it in description. So we need to rotate this canvas by 90 degree. Here just write canvas dot rotate and set the parameters. and let's run our app So we can see our camera has been rotated and it is working fine but we need our camera to be full screen. 
so below the previous line we will add two objects for display scaling let's create two objects These two objects will resemble our camera display to fit the screen. So we are not going to use this M scale anymore as we have created our own camera scale. Just replace this M scale to M scale 1. We need to replace M scale here as well. Now let's try to run our app again. As expected we are getting a full screen camera. But the displayed preview is not suitable because I am using a large screen device. So I personally recommend the second method. For that we need to remove all the if and else statement from here and previously written code as well. Now below this line we will import matrix. Matrix is basically a class which we will use to transform the coordinates. If I go through all the methods and the classes, the video will be longer. So you can read documentation for the methods and now just follow my lines of code.
So finally run our app again. This is working better because our camera resolution is same as our original camera. Here is my device camera preview. This is exactly same as our OpenCV camera. That's all for today. In the next video, we will see how to shift camera and we will add some cool features like object detection and edge detection. Thanks for watching.